It's great to be with you again. Welcome back to the music room and I am Mrs. Summers if you don't know who I am. I am one of the music teachers here in Turlock Unified and today I'm going to be talking with all of you about basic music note reading. The musical alphabet is very simple. It's simply the letters A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's it. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Only those seven letters are in the musical alphabet. But what's cool about it is that the letters repeat over and over and over again. So it kind of makes it easy to remember. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Say it with me like that three times. Ready? Go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. One more. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's right. That's the musical alphabet. Now, what do we do with those letters? Well, here we have a music staff. A staff is lines and spaces between the lines that music notes rest on. And every line and every space has a letter name. Let's start with the spaces because they're easiest. The names of the notes on the spaces spell the word face if we go up from the bottom. F a C E face. Everybody say the spaces spell face. The spaces spell face. Oh yeah, the spaces spell face. Now every note on every space makes its own sound. For example, letter F. Here's my trusty boom whackers for those of you who might remember them. Letter F is this sound right here. And you can sing that sound, or you can play it with a boom whacker, or on a recorder, or on a piano, or any other instrument. Letter A is right here. A, 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 A. Letter C, look, they're going up, so you can expect the sound to go up Here's letter C. C, 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 C. That's the little C up here. And then we have a really, really high sounding little E. I'm gonna play it up here. Way up there is letter E. Way high up there. That's a hard one to sing. So again, the spaces spell face. Say that, the spaces spell face. That's right. Now, the names of the notes on the lines are not so easy. They do not spell a word. So what we've done is taken the letter of every line on the music staff and given it a word so that we make a sentence. My sentence is, every good boy deserves fudge. Wouldn't you like to have some fudge? Some nice dark chocolate fudge? Every good boy deserves fudge. So the letters of the lines are E for every, G for good, B for boy, D deserves, and F for fudge. And again, every letter on every line has its own sound. So letter E down here, G, B, D, and I'm not going to sing letter F for you. That's way up high. Listen to how high letter F is. Way high up there. Oh, I just noticed there were two Fs, weren't there? There's one way up high, and then there's that one on the bottom space way down low. Did you notice something about letter F? They're both the same color, but different sizes. That's because the longer the tube, the lower the sound. 
the shorter the tube, the higher the sound. But still, it's a letter F. This is much easier to hear if you have a piano because your letters repeat A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You could play all the different F's or all the different G's, whichever notes you want, and hear what they sound like from low to high. Very cool. All right, so we've done the spaces. We did our alphabet. We've done the lines. And now here is an example of the music notes on the spaces. Now here we've added the stems of the notes. You might remember ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. On the spaces there. That shows me to play an A, A, then an F. And then it ends on the E way up here. Only that gets four counts instead of ta ta ti ti ta. Down here on the lines, we've got ta ti 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 ta ta. And again, every note on each line makes a different sound. All right, when we put them all together, they go in alphabetical order as we go up. Check this out. We're not starting with letter A here. We're going to start at the bottom of our C major scale with big letter C. And that will be this one here. We're going to hear that in just a moment. Here you'll notice the letters go C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C at the top. There's another C. And guess what? Here it is again, only it's little. And then it goes backwards as the notes go down. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Here at the bottom. Now let's let you hear a little bit more from our boom whackers. Let's see, we don't need these three right now. So let's just start with our C major scale. If you are a student of mine, you might have done this with me in our classrooms. Uh, we're going to go from the big C at the bottom to little C at the top. And we're going to play and sing the pattern ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Here's our sound of letter C on the bottom. Can we sing it together with big C first? Ready? Ta, ta. Now our little C. And that is our C major scale. Now parents, if you would like to learn a little bit more about the music staff and have some fun with your children, there are some fun games you can play. Take on a piece of paper, for example, the letters of the musical alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, and see just how many different words your child can come up with. You, it's okay to repeat letters more than once. For example, egg. There's E, G, G. That can be spelled with the musical alphabet. Or bed, B, E, D. Bad, deaf, cafe, and cage. And I guarantee that's not all. There are a lot more words out there that can be made using any combination of these letters. And once you've done that, check out what you can do. You can actually spell the words on a music staff. The trick is, can your child remember where to find the notes on the music staff? Here's the first one. Bed. B-E-D. Bed. Now, letter B. We have to think, is it on a line or a space? Well, the spaces spell face. 
and there is no B in face, so it must be on a line. That's right. Every good boy deserves fudge. So you would color in your note on the B line. One, two, three, B. Now letter E, there's two different choices. You have E for every on the bottom line. Or if you spell face, F-A-C-E, it could be on the top space there too. Either choice is yours. Letter D is not in the word face, is it? So every good boy deserves right there. And you would just color in a note, a circle on letter D line right there. Moving down here to cafe, cafe. Is there a C in the word face? There sure is, F-A-C, third space. <clears throat> a, F-A, second space. Cafe, remember there were two F's, so you can use the bottom space, F, or on the lines, every good boy deserves fudge. It could be on the top line. And then here's letter E again, just like before. It can be on the bottom line for E for every, or on the top space, F-A-C-E for face. So either way, you can have some fun with your children writing words with music notes. And if you would like to go online and maybe purchase some boom whackers, I bought these myself. They come in a set of eight for the C major scale or um, any other music reading devices. You may have noticed mine are color coordinated with the boom whackers. You can get any of these kinds of products online at musickay8.com. That's music, the letter K, the number 8.com. And you can have a whole lot of fun shopping for music supplies and colorful things. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our lesson today, boys and girls, and parents as well. I hope you are all safe and healthy. And I can't wait to see you again in an actual classroom. We hope you've enjoyed this virtual classroom. Have a wonderful rest of your month. Bye.